Albertian Institute of Science and Technology make engineers not just engineering graduates. Dear students, welcome to the session on voltage regulation of alternators by MMF Mothered. This is from the course EE202, Synchronous and Induction Machines for S4 Triple students. I am Ashna Joseph, Assistant Professor, Department of Electrical Engineering, Albertian Institute of Science and Technology. This session will give you an insight on the construction of open circuit characteristics of an alternator and thereby the determination of voltage regulation using MMF method. After this session, you will be able to understand how to plot an OCC as well as how to determine the voltage regulation of an alternator using MMF method. MMF method is also known as Ampere Turns method. So, in order to understand this particular topic, what I have taken us, I have used a previous year university question from May 2019 exam. So I will be solving this particular question step by step for you to get a clear understanding on the voltage regulation method using MMF. So here goes the question. Following test results are obtained on a 6600 volt alternator. The test results are tabulated like this open circuit voltage and field currents in ampere. So the test results you can see on the tabulation and the question goes on a field current of 20 ampere is found to circulate full load current with short circuited armature. Calculate the full load regulation at 0.8 power factor lag by using MMF method. You can neglect armature resistance. This question was being asked for KTU May 2019 exams for 10 marks. So I will give in the forthcoming session how the mark split up is also done during the valuation. There are four steps which I have given. There is nothing like hard and first rule for uh, getting voltage regulation using MMF method with all these four steps. I have broken down into four steps for the simplicity. So the very first step is to plot open circuit characteristics. Open circuit characteristics is a plot between open circuit voltage in volts versus field current in amperes. Usually the open circuit voltage in volts are represented as phase voltage. So phase voltage in open circuit versus field current in amperes will give you the open circuit characteristics. Let's see how open circuit characteristics is plotted for the given test result. So the given test data are open circuit voltage in volts, then field current in ampere, given for 3100 volt correspondingly 16 amps, then for 4900 it is 25 amps, likewise till 8300 we got 70 amps. So how is this being plotted as open circuit voltage along y axis on a suitable scale. Here uh, we have taken 1000 volt per unit and also along the x axis I have taken 10 ampere per unit. So the very first point is with respect to 3100 volt it is 16 ampere. So you can just mark uh, that particular thing. 3100 uh, comes somewhere over here. Likewise you can get the next test data 4900 volt corresponding to that 25 corresponding to this uh, 25 amps you are having somewhere near here okay likewise the other three datas so how to join these points is first of all you, you can start from the origin uh, to an extent it's a straight line that is uh, there is a linear portion of the graph and after that saturation of the core occurs and you are having a saturated region like this that is how OCC is being plotted. So you will get an OCC like the one which is being shown in this bold line. Thus the plot 
of OCC is completed. Now we will get into the numerical steps. The very first thing is after the plot of OCC, you need to get the field current which corresponds to the normal voltage. Because here it is normal voltage. Why? Because it is given in the question that you need to find the full load voltage regulation. So the field current which corresponds to this normal voltage is denoted by the letter IFM and IFM value over here is the normal voltage from the question is nothing but 6600 volt okay for corresponding to that 6600 volt what is the field current corresponding to that it is uh, coming over here it is coming over here and it reads as 37.5 ampere so that is a first data we are getting IFM as 37.5 amps. Then the next step is you need to get the field current which is required to give the full load current on short circuit. As per the question it is 20 ampere. If you read the question properly you can get this value from the question itself. A 20 ampere of current is required to give a full load current on short circuit of armature is directly given in the question. So we have got two data IFM and IFA as 37.5 ampere and 20 ampere respectively. Next we need to find IF total. IF total is given by the equation square root of IFM square plus IFA square plus twice IFM IFA goes 180 minus of 90 plus 5. This formula is being used because in the question it is clearly stated that it is a it is a lagging load 0.8 power factor lagging load that's why the connecting sign is plus over here. If it was a leading load then the connecting sign would have been 90 minus 5 that's the only difference. So the formula for finding IFT holds the same square root of IFM square plus IFA square plus twice IFM IFA cos 180 minus of 90 plus or minus 5 plus 5 for lagging loads and minus 5 for leading loads. Square root of 37.5 squared plus 20 square plus twice 37.5 into 20 into cos 180 minus of 90 plus 5. How will you obtain the value of 5? Because in the question it is given 0.8 power factor lagging which means that the power factor is power factor of the load is power factor of the load is power factor of the load is 0.8 which means phi is obtained as cos inverse of 0.8 which is nothing but 36.86 that's how this angle 36.86 comes after computation you'll be getting a value of 52 amps so that makes your total IFT value IFT value you are now getting it as 52 amps. Now, we need to find the null load generated EMF corresponding to that 52 ampere. So, getting back to the OCC which we have plotted, corresponding to that 52 ampere, 52 ampere comes over here only, corresponding to that 52 ampere, you Erect a perpendicular such that it will intersect your OCC at one particular point. See that voltage value over here in the y axis, it is making it as 7600 volt. So that makes your E0 value 7600 volt. Now, the voltage regulation, the formula is no load generated EMF minus the full load voltage divided by full load voltage. If you multiply it with 100, you will get in percentage. So in short, it is nothing but E0 minus V divided by V. So we have got E0 as 7600 and V is given the question as 6600. So it is 7600 minus 6600 divided by 6600 into 100 will give you the final result as 15.15 percentage. And with this, the problem is over. But I have told you in the beginning,
we will be having the marks split up for each step. So I will tell you how it goes. I have told you in the beginning how the mark split up is done for valuation for the steps. So I will tell you for the plot of OCC you will be getting 4 marks. So if you plot OCC like this you will be readily getting 4 marks out of the 10. Then after finding your IFT properly as 52 amps you will be getting another 2 marks. Let me change the color of my pen. So you'll be getting another two marks. Then for the corresponding generated EMF to this IFT, you'll be getting another two marks. Then for the voltage regulation, its formula and together with its result, 15.15 percentage, that will make up the last two marks. So it amounts to the total 10, 4 plus 2, plus this 2, plus this final 2 will give you 10 marks. So, dear students, hope you have understood the session. Thanks for watching.